I never got a boner from a book. <laughs> My name's Anthony Padilla, and I'm gonna be reading a 100% real erotic fan fiction about myself. This feels like some kind of ancient treasure, some, something that's been passed down from generation to generation. The ancient book of fuck. I have, unfortunately, read fan fiction about myself. They were pretty erotic. Lots of objects I would never consider entering my body entered my body. Never wrote a fan fiction myself that I fantasize about stories in my head when I was younger, absolutely. If I would have written any fan fiction, it would have probably been about Power Rangers. It's time! I mean, <laughs> you see the little skirt on the Pink Rangers uh, outfit? I mean. The Elevator by Coming Padilla. You paid for this? Comedy Central paid for this. <laughs> Coming Padilla is now an official paid writer. It was 10 p.m. and almost everyone had left headquarters, leaving me alone. All of a sudden, Anthony entered the floor, clearly not expecting anyone to be there. I was all alone in my cubicle. Hey, why are you still here? Anthony asked me as he quickly ducked in and out of his office. In and out, and in and out, is that a little Foreshadowing. I still have a lot of shit. I mean, thumbnails to do, and I have to email VidCon and all the conventions that you're gonna attend, and she works for me, got it, at this headquarters. And I have employees that take care of my thumbnails and conventions, got it, okay. Go home, Anthony interrupted. Wait, what are you doing here? I asked. I left my phone here, said Anthony. I never lose my phone. This is very inaccurate. I turned off my computer and we headed to the elevator. As the doors closed, the lights started to flicker and the elevator unexpectedly stopped. We looked at each other and said one word in unison. Shit. Try and call for help, I said. Anthony tried to turn his phone on and nothing happened. Fuck, it's dead said Anthony. Well, we're trapped here, he whispered frantically. No shit, Sherlock, I blurted out. <laughs> Sorry, that came out a little bitchy and rude, I said. It's fine, said Anthony. Wow, I have no sense of humor. I sat down on the floor and hugged my knees. Anthony sat down on the opposite side of the elevator. I wasn't being a perv, but I swear, Anthony was staring at my underwear, exposed under my short skirt. Oh, it's getting a little hot now. <clears throat> hey, what are you looking at? I said without thinking. I could see his... <laughs> <laughs> I could see his pants getting tighter, which only means one thing. You're turning red. Is there something wrong? I said. <laughs> you know, I think I am a blusher, yeah. When I'm in certain situations, especially, especially if it's like my, my first sexual encounter with someone, I tend to be more reserved than I'd like to admit and uh, sometimes I forget to breathe. You need oxygen in your face, apparently. Anthony nodded his head. I felt something powerful welling up inside me. Was it confidence? Was it lust? Whatever it was, it had a mind of its own. Maybe I can help you with your problem. <laughs> Just tell me what the problem is first, I said. <laughs> I sat down next to Anthony and he stared into my eyes, leaning forward to kiss me. Our tongues were fighting for dominance. It became really harsh, but I kind of liked it. I sat on top of Anthony Padilla. Oh, my full name is in this one. This is where this just elevated itself to another level. <clears throat> I sat on top of Anthony Padilla and slowly unbuttoned my shirt without breaking the kiss. Ooh. That's kind of hot, actually. He took his fitted shirt off. <laughs> it's fitted. You can see every crevasse. 
He took his fitted shirt off and unhooked my bra. It doesn't say it in here, but it should have said with one hand, with a ton of skill and precision, that would have been accurate. Anthony caressed my breasts whilst, ooh, you know I love a good whilst. Anthony caressed my breasts whilst I lightly pecked his neck. Oh my God, the word usage in here is great. Caressed my breasts while I pecked his neck. Next level writing, leaving him a hickey. You know, I think hickeys are kind of absolutely disgusting when I see them on other people, but I kind of like a, a hickey, a good little mark on my neck every once in a while to remind me of the good times in life. We swapped positions. He unzipped my skirt and removed it. Then he slowly slipped his hands inside my underwear. He started rubbing my sensitive spots. <laughs> he started rubbing my sensitive spots whilst I rubbed his growing bulge. He then ins <laughs> He then inserted two fingers inside me and I let out a soft little moan which I can only imagine sounded something like. <sighs> Anthony slowly thrust them in and out, in and out, foreshadowing, and the rhythm turned rough, letting the walls quiver and making me want more. Anthony stood up to take his pants off. <laughs> I took his boxers down and his members stood up. Stiff. I tease the tip with my fingers, making the bottom half of his body shiver. Then he gripped my head and placed the rim of my open mouth around his member. I bobbed my head back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Anthony grabbed my scalp. Wow, <laughs> am I gonna scalp a bitch? Anthony grabbed my scalp and took control of the speed. The harder he grabbed, the faster I went. He was reaching climax, but I stopped him to tease him. Wow, this took a whole, this, wow. Mm, I am really transported into this elevator. I forgot there was a room of, how many people are here? Like 75 people behind camera? Comedy Central's got way too much money. They just have people watching for the hell of it now. He let out an annoyed groan. Uh. After said annoyed groan, I looked up at him and threw him a devilish smirk. I continued sucking it. <laughs> I continued sucking it until he hit climax. The liquid guilt landed on my breasts and mouth. Uh, wow, I've never heard it referred to as liquid guilt. Is that a common term? I like that a lot, but there is no guilt. The liquid guilt landed on my breasts and my mouth, and there were some bits in my hair, but we didn't care. <laughs> we had some business to finish. Anthony picked me up and his back crashed against the elevator door. I wrapped my legs around his tanned torso. How does she know my, is my shirt open for this moment? I don't know when it happened, but it happened. My shirt just completely was like, Ugh. I wrapped my legs around his tanned torso and my arms wrapped around his neck. Anthony took off my underwear single-handedly while carrying me, which is a rare talent that most men I've had sex with could not achieve. Whoa, I've done things that are blowing her mind. If this doesn't bring her to climax, just from my gravitas and my strength, I don't know what will. Let's imagine this for a moment. I'm holding said person. I remove underwear single-handedly while still carrying said person. So in this situation, legs wrapped around me, underwear here. I am removing underwear, like, you gotta do like a jump with your hand. I don't know how I get this hand, which is carrying her weight above the underwear so that it can be removed, but I'm like, do like, it's like a skateboard trick. It's like doing an ollie, but like a sex, a sex ollie. 
One of his hands was holding me up while the other lifted my chin. Are you sure? I nodded my head. He touched his tip on the rim of my cavern, making me whimper. Has he fully entered me? Whoa. You know it's good when I could go from climax to insertion within three seconds. As he fully entered me, his arms were making me go up and down, making me moan loudly. Uh. His pace got faster and rougher every time I moaned. My climax was at its peak. His head rolled back as he released his liquid guilt inside me. There's that word again, it's not. He jerked his hips to make sure not a single drop would go to waste. Just gotta get it all out. Don't want any of that stuck inside me. Probably be painful. So what are we now? Anthony asked. Just gotta cut and get down to brass tacks. So we married now or what? Let's just stay as friends. <laughs> I answered. <laughs> I like that. A woman who just wants a good fuck. With benefits, he added. I nodded my head and we both put our clothes back on and sat back on the floor and waited for the morning. I rested my head on his shoulder until I drifted to sleep. The end. Wow, thank you for writing that. I've been transported to a place I never thought I would go and I, I probably will not ever go again. I would have to give this a solid nine out of 10. In order to get up to a 10, this story would have just had to do maybe one simple thing, which would be for my character to orgasm like seven more times. I'm very talented is what I'm trying to say. Wow, wasn't that something? My name's Anthony Padilla and I'll be here taking over Comedy Central's channel all week. We have a ton of other weird stuff just as weird, but like in a good way as the video you just saw. So make sure you click all that shit over here and please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and to Comedy Central.